log into your Bristol Online Survey account, whether that's a, a 30 day trial, free trial, or whether it's an actual account, doesn't matter. So I've already got one here, but I'll show you how to make a new one. So you press create new, you get a title, create survey. So according to your ethics, you should probably have this about the study. So this is where you want to give implied consent through a note by completing this survey. you can put down the rest of the consent form like I understand this and that and this and then make sure you, the important bit is to mention a right of withdrawal and then you want to add a new page this is going to be the demographics about you you want to add item to this page down here let's start with gender so you want to go mul multiple choice single option because you can't be both genders which sex are you question mark male or female this is important you need to go to advanced options and go to required because people can accidentally miss out a question or just not answer it and then your data won't be able to be used and your question now it's annoying because you have to press you had to press um extra options i think so you can go to this little cog bar and press copy and then paste it down here so it's the next question so that's question two but obviously when you're copying this it's going to the same question type as in it's a multiple choice but you can have one answer so you can change the question to um, which category are you uh, I don't know point is that they can only choose one and then you don't have to press um you don't have to press uh make it required again because it's already got the star and then if you want to make a different type of question you need to press add item such as uh, this one multiple choice but you have multiple answers but when you start a new question you'll have to do that advanced thing required so for example what are and you just put a bunch down and I think you get the point but I would normally mention up here um, so like tick or select scrolling this down so I think once you have the demographic gra demographics you want to actually go onto the actual questionnaire so normally it's like a scale but I don't know relationship satisfaction scale maybe like that and normally scales are like at scales you can do ranking questions but I normally find multiple choice is just easier because you're copying and pasting it anyway Oh, I could, um, you could have gone up here and copied and pasted it down here but you can always start a new one because you'll be pasting a lot especially in these types of questionnaires 
So great how happy you are. So one is happy. We got two, three. Obviously, I want you to you should word that properly. Normally, have five. Or you're gonna have like seven in the Likert scale, and then you have like seven and happy. And then you have your options and make it required. I can't bother to do that now. Add your question. And again, you would copy this underneath here, and you just keep redoing this for how many questions you have in your questionnaire. And then you would go to this little edit button just on the left and you would change this accordingly per question like rate right how um, active you are <laughs> okay and then yep but normally these don't change in the questions but we'll just use this and then you just keep doing it section and then the very last page you want your debriefing form so thank you for participating then you would have to add a note um contact and then you put in your email whatever if any queries add note okay so that's your questionnaire done. Um, you want to go on to survey appearance. This is only if you want to, but it normally makes it look more professional by adding the logo in. And then you can choose like a theme. Uh, I don't know why I chose scrubs, but it's a scrubs now. Save. If you want permission for certain people, you can add the password to it here. You can have a preview of your survey. So, about the study, blah blah blah, consent, implied consent, there's my good logo. So, if I miss out some of the questions, it will say it is required, so you have to answer it. <clears throat> um, I didn't press it on these, but you should be required. And then you've got the end. Then you would go on to distribute, make sure you have your ethics approved before you distribute it. So once you distribute it, you can press launch survey, but before that you want to go through your settings. You can change the dates, change the survey title, you can make this short so people remember it. Oops. Press save. And then you would just wait for everyone to You would press save, making sure it's a name you can use. And then you want to, then you'll just, yeah, just wait for participants. And then you go to analyze and you'll see this in a separate video on how to check, well, how to check out your um, results or well, data collections. 